Right. Dave Nussbaum, I feel like I do everything online these days, <laughs> too. including checking the weather with our Storm Team Meteorologist app that we have online. How are things yep. looking this afternoon? Uh, not looking too bad out there. Be sure to check our weather page out there, the CBS42.com, and go to the weather tab. Click on my weather story for the day. You have all kinds of thoughts. All of us do here what the weather is going to be. Uh, but what we're looking at now, still some cloud cover. Then notice there's some breaks in the clouds. That's what's headed our way here over the next hour from our BJCC camera. It's again still mostly cloudy, 61. Pretty cool out there. There's northerly winds, a little breezy. We'll keep that breeze around through the day today. Live look at radar. The bulk of the showers, what's left of them, kind of working the way through Clay County. Coosa Tallapoosa County headed down toward uh, say Chambers as well as on into Randolph counties, but that's about it. The rest of the area is drying out, but definitely some cool weather. 61 Talladega, Asheville to Anniston and Gadsden, where the sun's already out up there into uh, Jasper at 68 there. Tuscaloosa coming in at 66. So temperatures do quickly warm up once that clearing starts moving on in. You can see where Jasper is through Tuscaloosa. So we are going to see that sunshine returning this afternoon as our front continues to work its way off to the southeast and definitely clearing behind it. High pressure up here across part of Missouri. That'll sink in just to our north, and as that moves on in, that's going to keep us dry and great for the next couple of days. So future cast will show here from lunchtime as we go through the afternoon hours. Again, there goes that rain working its way on into Georgia. And then look at this. Wind's a little breezy, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour through 4 o'clock, but we are clear out there this afternoon, so any after-school activities or practices tonight will be pretty good. Heading on into dinner time and clear weather out there going on into this evening by 10, 11 o'clock. Still looking pretty good, and we will stay clear overnight tonight as well, too. So there you see the sunshine coming out. Temperatures get to only about 70 today. Traditionally, we should be in the upper 70s this time of year, so we're going to be below that. But then clearing out there all the way into this evening, look at that. By midnight, we're down to 53 degrees, and tomorrow morning, we're waking up to some cold weather out there. 44 here in town. Jasper Fay at 40. Some places in between could see 39 degrees out there. 41 from Gadsden, Asheville, Anderson, about 44. They're the same for Alex City, Alabaster, about 46. Same for Tuscaloosa. Again, average low is 55, so way below average. As we headed to the night tonight. Then, as we go forward here on into the next couple of days, look at this 75 tomorrow, still below where we're supposed to be, but then back to the 80s Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday, back to the mid 80s. So, nice big warm up is in store for us here. So, if you're a fan of cooler temperatures, kind of bottle it up now if you can for a few days because we do have some changes coming. Now, looking ahead to the weekend, Sunday morning may start off with a little bit of some rain across northern part of Alabama and Tennessee. A front's going to be stalled there to the north of us, and so it may try to bring some clouds. Maybe a couple showers in during the day on Sunday here. And same thing for Monday, too. You can see overnight Sunday to Monday morning, maybe a couple showers trying to develop. Latest models want to keep that front really more to the north up into Tennessee to Kentucky versus down here, which means we would be warm and more humid as we get into the first part of next week. So just get ready for some warmer weather to stick around here a little longer. So again, the morning showers coming to an end, 70 today. Then we are looking at, again, there's temperatures warming up to 83 Friday, 83 there Saturday, or rather 84 Saturday. Sunday, Monday again. I have a 30% chance for rain in, but that may be going down more based off the latest models we're seeing across the area. Love to see that. Thanks, Dave. The time now 12:18. Still ahead here on the news at noon, an International Jazz Day celebration.